Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video in the house modeling series. Now today we're going to do something that is not seen in a typical house, it's called a cross vault. But for those of you who love castles and dungeons and whatnot, you're going to have fun. Here we go. So we're going to take a polygon plane as a reference and nothing but a reference and we're going to work with that to begin with. So we're going to jump to our top and I want this to kind of line up with these four cubes here like that, right? Then I'm going to go to my modeling toolkit and I'm going to open up the multi-cut tool and I'm going to grab the corners from there to there, hit enter and from there to there and hit enter now this thing is going to be deleted later on uh, i only need it for reference so the next thing we're going to do is take another cube and we're going to hit w we're going to move it over i'm going to snap it to this grid line here so hold on x snap it we're going to hit r we're going to scale it up and there you go so now that we have that one, we're going to, I'll hit four so you can see it better. So now that we have that one, what we're going to do is we're going to insert some edge loops. Now, before we do, I need to delete some faces that we don't need. Okay. So we're going to go to face mode and I basically don't need these or that one. Yeah. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to jump to our top view. We're going to go top view. Yeah. We're going to go to insert edge loop. We're going to set it to multiple and three. We're going to add them right here. And as we do so, we'll have one in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. Then we're going to switch to vertex mode and we're going to take the one in the center. Come on, let's play ball, please. Yeah, that one. We're going to hit W to move it. And then we're going to hold down X or in this case, V. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to snap it right there. Now, these two need to come in as well, and that's where our reference comes in, because we need to have this at a perfect 45 degree angle, and using this cube right here, we can actually do that, right? So yeah, kind of cool. Now, um, just to make things easier for ourselves a little bit, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Vertex, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to hold down X and snap it there, snap it there. Snap it there, snap it there, snap them there, and you'll understand in a second why, right? And then we're going to go and get this guy in position, looks okay. We're going to Q on a keyboard, and then we need to start to make a shape for our uh, arch, yeah? So let's go into this view, take the one in the middle, hit W, raise that up. Let's see if I got the right one here. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to raise that up to the extent you want to go up. And then we'll take these two edges right here, one and two. And we'll move them up as well until you have a shape that you're happy with. And it's looking like part of an arch. Yeah, okay, cool. Alrighty, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're going to get rid of it because we don't need it. There you go. Good, good. And we're going to jump back into the top view, and now we're going to copy this guy around. So we need to move the pivot point to the center. We're going to hit the insert key. We're going to hold down V and snap it right there. Hit the insert key again. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it once, and then shift D and shift D to do that two more times which will give us the initial setup. Now you can see we got gaps going on here. That's okay, we'll get that sorted, right? Now, how do we get that sorted? Well, we're gonna merge, uh, we're gonna um, vertex weld, right? Uh, what's it called? Uh, target weld, yeah. So we need to combine this first. We're gonna go to mesh and uh, combine, and then we're gonna go to our target weld option box, and let's hit reset. What we want is merge to center. What that means is if you leave it at target, you drag one to the other, that will be the position. 
if you click on center, the two will be merged together in the space that is in the center of the two, okay? So now it's set to center. We're gonna go in here and give this a go. So we're gonna drag on that and it's merged. And this one will show you a bit better. Boom, there you go. And then we'll move over here and we'll do one and two and three over here. One and two and three. One and two and three. Now don't get too excited just yet because um, what happens with target weld sometimes is that it's not always perfect first go, right? So let's uh, see how it did. We're gonna hit Q on the keyboard. We're gonna go to object mode and we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. Now, of course, you're gonna have that gap on top. Here you see the lines connected perfectly here as well. So that's fine. The top one here has an issue. These all look fine and those both have an issue, okay? So we're gonna hit one to go back. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to vertex, drag click all of them, and go to edit mesh and merge any vertices that are within a range of 0 0.01. So all of these corner ones should be fine. There's nothing close to it. Hit enter. Let's see if that helps. We're gonna hit three. And now you see that the top there is perfectly merged up and all the problems seem to be fixed. Cool, cool. Alrighty, so basically you now have a cross fault. And depending on the style you want, you can have reinforced edges or not. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna insert uh, some edge loops. So we're gonna go into insert edge loop mode. We are in uh, preview smooth, so I'm just gonna fix that. Let's set this to multiple and one. And we'll put one in here at the end and then here at the end. And that's for the purpose of smoothing this out in a second. So we've got those. And then we'll put one in here at the bottom. And one there. And of course, I'm doing this uh, quick and dirty, but take your time. Yeah, there you go. And then depending on the style you want, you might want to consider um, taking these and doing a bevel on those just to reinforce that a little bit, right? So I'm just going to go to bevel and let's set this to 0 0.001. Okay. Now, if we hit three to preview smooth, it should look a little bit like that, right? And of course we want some thickness, so we're gonna hit one to go back. We're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. And if this is um, a setup you're okay with, it's fine. As you can see, we have no end guns. Everything is either uh, quad or triangle, which is okay. You can go in here and bump that up if you like by hitting two. You don't really need to though. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Right, so now we're gonna give it some thickness. So we are going to extrude it. Let's do 0 0.01. And here you go. Here's your cross fault, right? Cool, right? Okay, that's all there's to it, guys. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments as well. And if you haven't subscribed just yet and you wanna see future videos, please do so. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.